just give it up to the youth. Blow to the squad if we win or we lose. It is in our veins that orange and the green when it through and through. Cause you know we want it. You squad versus ours, now they don't really want it. Our petty grids deep with pros and abundance. Get ready for the storm cause the hurricane's coming. Let's give it up to the youth. Blow to the squad if we win or we lose. It is in our veins that orange and the green when it through and through. Cause you know we want it. Your squad versus ours, now they don't really want it. Our petty grids deep with pros and abundance. Get ready for the storm cause the hurricane's coming. What's good, Miami Hurricane fans? All right, I got a quick update for y'all. Looks like Miami has gotten another cornerback um, from the transfer portal. Looks like um, um, Jaden Davis, um, who went to, he's from my, the Miami area, went to St. Um, Augusti, um, if I'm pronouncing it right. But um, now he's coming home. He's transferring from Oklahoma where he's a senior this year. Um, he will play his final season for Miami. Um, he, um, Davis is a solid starting. Um, he was solid starting for the Oklahoma Sooners, which I watch a lot. I watch a lot of uh, Oklahoma Sooners play in the Big 12. You know, I try to watch a lot of different conferences, not just my team. Um, even when my team is playing, I locked in on them. And then, you know, I try to watch other good games, you know, just to get a feel of other guys that's playing for certain teams. Um, but I didn't really pay too much attention to this guy. So I, I really haven't too much of a analysis on him right now. Um, but he is a Florida native. Um, like I say, he's playing his final season with the University of Miami, which Miami, you know, they need all the depth at cornerback as much as they can. Davis, um, he played 10 games, nine starts. Um, he only made 22 total starts altogether. Um, last year, he had 39, 35 tackles, two pass deflection, and he adds a, um, he all adds up to 104 tackles, one interception, 11 pass breakups across the four years in um, four years with um, the University of Oklahoma. Now on three sports talked um, with Davis about his commitment prior to his announcement money. Here's what he had to say. He said family feels um, Davis said he said coach Chris Ball and coach Adundi um, really emphasized that during my recruitment and it was nothing but love from the moment I stepped on the campus for a visit schematically I fit the I fit into the system um, well along with me being from South Florida it's a win-win you know what I'm saying so that I mean so that right there is you know really a great thing to do, a great thing to have somebody from your own home area. Also, um, you know, he will, he also, you know, he'll be there with Damari Brown, the Brown brothers, um, Robert Stanford, Stanford and um, I will transfer Terry Roberts. Uh, the Miami staff added yet another high quality player for, to that position also. So now he did um as a la um, he entered the transfer portal last Monday as a graduate transfer and made a visit to Illinois as well to Miami um and he, by that happening because my uh, Illinois law lo just lost two of their guys to the NFL draft that just got drafted so it made sense for him to visit the um visit the University of Miami but he's he's 5'10 183 pounds um, he becomes the eleventh transfer in the class for Miami. Despite the double-digit double-digit additions, Miami has lost 22 players to the transfer portal this season, with potentially more on the way. And it happens, you know, what I'm saying it happens. So the more you lose, you gotta you gotta you gotta come back and add depth. You know, what I'm saying um, head coach Marvin Crespo and staff have spoken about adding several players. In the last in the latest transfer portal opening post spring, so pretty much well, whoever Miami lo loses and whoever they feel that's going to be able to come and bring in an impact for the squad coming up this season, 
then it's sure that, you know, and I think they kind of weeding out pe people that's not going to pan out for the system and, you know, and they trying to get great quality guys that could come in and they contrib contribute right away. Now, Davis did play 50 games for Oklahoma, including 20 starts. Like I said before, he had 101 tackles, one inception, pass breakups. Um, he did play 402 snaps last season and allowed just 16 receptions and one touchdown on 30 targets. Hell, that's that's hella good. That is hella good right there. I mean, it's playing 100, uh, playing 420. I mean, 402 snaps and just allow 16 receptions and one touchdown on 30 targets. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that means he, you know, he's really a great, um, a great, uh, um, not a great, but a really good solid corner. Now he been a holy, excuse me. He's been holding his opponents to 85.7 passer rating and um, and a long of just 30, 30, 31 yards. He also graded out 85.4 in tackling. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad. That shows that he, he wants to tackle, uh, which placed him in the top 30 in the country. So um, he does show some physicality coming down here and feeling versus the run, laying, laying a, a, a good hit on guys. So it's, it's good to have that. You definitely need that. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? You definitely need that. Um, so now um, he, he also has 20 pass, like he had 20, 67 tackles, five interceptions, two of them was returned for a touchdown, over 20 pass breakups. He also won state title as a sophomore and prepared in another um, another as a senior. So this this he he did all of this when he was in um, high school down in Fort Lauderdale at um, St. Thomas Aquarius, um, and he was a four star prospect during that time in 2019. Now Miami does have UCF transfer De, um, Devontae Brown, which is the Corey's Brown brother, senior to Corey Couch. Um, Junior Daryl Por um, Daryl Porter Jr. Um, and Malik Curtis, redshirt freshman Jaden Harris and Chris Graves, plus the uh, imp the um, impending arrivals of the 2023 signing class, Brown and Stanford. So having him is going to be a plus. Um, is going to help out Miami add more depth because you're going to lose guys to the NFL, and you know hopefully. You can have you can have enough guys that you can rotate in and keep a lot of them fresh. So that's something that Miami definitely gonna do. I'm not sh I'm I'm sure Miami is not going to um they're not going to um actually um stop recruiting or getting more guys into the transfer portal to come in to help. So it's remaining to be seen, and hopefully Miami can continue to bring in more people, more depth, more uh, solid guys that could help definitely. You want a lot of, of, you want a lot on defense and you want a lot of offense, especially at the receiver end of everything. And that's one area that we've been looking for the receiver, the receiver spot. So hopefully um, I'll keep y'all guys updated if anything is, it's been slow news, you know what I'm saying? Slow news in Miami. So that's why I really haven't dropped a lot of Miami hurricane content. But still continue to like, comment, subscribe. Um, trying to get a lot of stuff moving. Working on a, um, a new a new banner logo for my Miami Hurricanes. Kings on the Daily. And um, also working on some stuff. I do got a new merch store with my Miami, um, Miami Hurricanes. Um, Kings on the Daily t-shirt. So I will be dropping that link in the description box. And until then, continue to like, comment, subscribe. And... You know, if you have any questions about anything, be sure to hit me up. I'll definitely try to, my best to answer it for you. Until then, go you, and I'm out.